Hello guys, and welcome to the Battle of Gibraltar. Where we last left off, I moved some men to Savoy, and to, well, Gibraltar. I've laid out my men like this, same as the Moroccan Rebellion. And, yeah. Just move these guys in. I've got some uh, African infantry coming in from Morocco, but they won't be needed. They're way over there. Probably just see the flag. Might position these guys a little bit better. Like that. Shouldn't be too hard. I think they actually had pikemen in this uh, army. Yeah, right there. Do you know what year it is? I'm pretty sure pikes went out of fashion a long while ago. Anyway, we've started to engage. They shouldn't last too long. Wow, we're really digging into them. That's one gone. That two gone. Nearly three. Nearly four. Wow. This was actually pretty quick. We've killed the enemy general. Okay, they're off. I don't actually need to chase them down, because since we're in a city, as soon as I end the battle, they're all dead. Like that. <laughs> that was actually pretty quick. Uh, okay, end battle. Okay, I'll come back with the results screen. Okay, I lost 15 men. They lost everybody. Wow. My ships are entering the Mediterranean. And I'll cut back when the tur- Okay, I'll cut back now. Uh, Great Britain wants a military alliance. Actually, yeah, I'll go for it. Even though they're allied with Savoy. In fact, that might make it a bit more interesting. They'll have to choose between Savoy or me. Or just drop out entirely. So, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'll cut back when the turns are over. Okay, you got the letter of demands from Morocco. Again. Rights in Morocco. Took down the church, apparently. Region captured. Dread gained. And recruitment. Yeah, I actually got some extra troops in uh, Rome off screen. So I can send them up to the army in Savoy. I've actually got movable uh, cannons now, not fixed cannons. So let's move them up. It'll take two turns to get there, but I'm in no rush. So now, need to deal with uh, the rebellions here. Can I take this army out? Or repair that. I can! Wow. Move them back in there. And heal them. I'll actually put the native African infantry in Gibraltar. Just so they have some form of garrison. Also, I don't need this extra... Dockyard. Throw that down. Especially since uh, Great Britain's got one right next to it. So when I take Spain, it'll be right there. Don't know what happens to my voice, but okay. I'll repair that. Repair that. And get some more native African line infantry. They're quite cheap, and we're, they're not as good as uh, regular line infantry. They're still pretty good. And yeah, I think that's all I can do this turn. So next turn. Okay, Spain wants a peace treaty for technology. Last I checked, I kicked your ass. So, no. I'm gonna kill the messenger as soon as he leaves. Okay, we finally got socket bayonets, so my bayonet technology is now complete. Let's actually uh, get a basic steam pump so it can improve our minds. And, of course, another rebellion. <sighs> Let's go take him out. Leave the African line infantry in there. 
A resolve. Oh, come on! Stop running away! Now, let's actually improve this. And put a trade port in here. Yeah, let's put a trade port in here. Just to be a little bit different. Got lots of trades, lots of recruitment. I've actually got my uh, first fourth rate, so got they're now my most uh, powerful ship. And let's actually go invade Savoy now. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Declare war. Now, who will Great Britain side with? Nobody, apparently. Uh, Austria is now at war with Savoy, and I'm now at war with the United Provinces. So pretty much all of Northern Europe hates me, besides Great Britain. Well, Northwestern Europe. Anyway. Yeah, let's fight the bell. See you on the battle map, guys. See you then. Hello, guys. Welcome to the Battle of Savoy. I've set my men out like this. I've got my line infantry on the left, my cannons somewhat in the middle, and my cavalry on the right. I'm hoping to break through like I did in Malta. Well, I've actually taken the wall down quite a bit. Now, they've got quite a lot of troops on this fort, so it's going to be a little harder to take. But I'm confident. I think I can do it. But we'll have to see. Uh, let's speed this up. Already at 45 percent. 51%, 60, 65, 69. Okay, it's, it's taken down. Uh, let's move my men in. Well, let's move them up, actually. We'll just get some men to cover the breach, like I did in Malta. That's not gonna work out properly. Also, my cannons are still firing, so... Better get them to stop. Now... Let's get the main line infantry to go up this side. You can go up there. You two can go around this side. And you grenadiers can be guarding the gate. Just in case something happens. And they're in the reaching distance of the breach in case they start attacking there. And I want my cavalry just back here in case something goes wrong. And my general can just stand about. Why not? Uh, now everybody can also run. Why have I lost some men? Did they hit me with a cannon? Well, they must have. Killed some horses. Anyway, that's the end of this part, folks. So, thanks for watching. And in the next part, we continue the battle. So, see you then.